morning, HMS 7. Good to see everybody back here on a Monday morning. Main focus of our jumpstart is to go over those habits of highly effective people. Again, habits. I'll repeat, habits are things we repeatedly do. These habits are designed to create a leader with inside you. Every one of us has an opportunity to be a leader. Either every one of us has an opportunity to control our actions. These seven habits are actions that you can take every single day, repeat them every single day, and you will find success. It all starts with being proactive, taking the initiative. It could be as simple as remembering to bring your mask to school every day. It could be as simple as remembering to put your mask on and remembering to wear your mask properly up over your nose. It could be as simple as remembering to plug in your computer at night so it's fully charged when you get here. That's all being proactive. It's also about putting first things first. We know the first thing we do when we walk into the building is we mask up, we hood down, and we get ready for our day. Pretty simple. You can apply these habits to everything you do. Walk in each day with an end in mind. Hopefully that end is to learn something new each and every day. Make learning your goal in every class and each and every day. Make finding a successful career a goal of yours. We can win-win every day in this building when you walk in here. Help somebody else that's struggling. Pick up a piece of trash, throw it away. All of these are actions, habits that you can do every single day. See first to understand, then to be understood. That's your listening philosophy. We can come in here every day and practice this habit, practice this skill. You can do that through eye contact, listening with your eyes, your ears, and your heart. Paraphrasing back what someone says to show that you're truly listening. Asking important questions, things of that nature to show you're listening. Synergize, that's working together as a group. You can work together as a group each and every day inside of this building to make sure you practice that habit of synergy because when more people are working together, you can accomplish far more together than you can individually. We can all have individual goals, but as a group, we'll accomplish so much more. Sharpening our saw. This is our habit of the month of April. Take care of your mind and your body by getting sleep, eating right, learning new things, reading. We're gonna to focus today on sharpening the heart and the soul. There are many ways to sharpen and strengthen your heart. It can simply be by building relationships with someone you already have, dropping into that emotional bank account, serving your community, getting out there and helping people of need or helping people within the building. Laugh a little bit with each other. Love one another the right way. Ways to strengthen your soul, pretty simple. Just be thankful. Come in here each and every day, the lights are on, the electricity is working, we're fed well by our custodial staff and cleaned up by our custodial staff and our kitchen staff. They take care of you each and every day. Thank them, journal, be mindful, take a pause and reflect on things you're thankful for. So many things you can do each and every day. Be positive with, each and every, with everybody. Be positive with your teachers when you walk in. How often do you walk in say, hey, how are you doing today? Great to see you. Do those little things like that. It creates a positive environment, strengthens that soul. It's also working into a win-win. Lastly, as we close this out on a Monday, I'll continue to hammer home expectations. We're doing a much better job of being where we're supposed to be, getting to class on time, getting there when we're supposed to do, doing what we're supposed to do. Again. But it, I've seen a change in terms of everyone coming in and meeting those expectations. Remember, when you walk in the building, we know if we walk in like this, before we get in to the building, we're going to take that hood down and we're going to mask up. Hood down, mask up. Not a hard expectation to follow. You guys have been doing a great job of figuring that out lately. Let's continue that. Do what you're supposed to do. Hood down, mask up, cell phone. After we hit into homeroom, stick that thing in your bag, put it away. That's doing what you're supposed to do. Listen to your teachers. They have a reasonable request of asking you to get to work. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Get to work. You'll never have an issue, guys. As I've told you, you practice these seven habits. People will not tell you what to do. If you walk into the classroom and you're proactive, you take the initiative, you meet the expectation, whether it's lit up or lit down to start your bell work, you have your mask up, your hood down, your cell phone away, you're not going to be told what to do. That's doing what you're supposed to do, and we're doing a better job of it. We can still do better. We're not 100% there yet, but we're getting close. Let's keep doing that. We love you guys. Great to see you back here on a Monday.